Hello again. In the last video, we have seen how to download and install APM on Windows and Mac. Now let's get familiar with APM app user interface. I'm going to use Mac OS to demo APM. Now there are a few differences between Mac APM version and Windows APM version. Such as on Mac, you can automate both Android and iOS app. However, on Windows, you can only automate Android app. So you may find iOS related icon only on Mac version. Okay, moving on. On the rightmost top corner, you would see launch icon. This is used to start and stop APM server. Clicking on this button will start APM server and button text will change to stop. Clicking on it again will stop the server. On the rightmost bottom of a window, you'd find a bin-like icon. It is used to clear the logs. The first button on APM Mac version that you'll see is Open Configuration. This allows you to open any previously saved configuration. Next to Open Configuration is Save Configuration. As name suggests, you can save your APM configuration for later use. The next button is Doctor. It will tell you if all the preconditions are made for APM automation such as Xcode installation etc. If any prerequisite is missing, then it will point it out. Next to it is Inspector. We'll come back to this option in a while. Coming to Android Settings option. You can see bunch of different options here. We'll cover few basic options which are commonly used. Under Applications, first option that you'd see is App Path. Here you can give APK path of Android app that you want to test. In most of the cases, you'd use this option if app is not already installed on either Android device or emulator. You may want to use this option even if app is already installed if you want to use APM Inspector. Next is Package. Here you can give package name of Android app. Don't worry about what needs to be given for each setting here. I'll cover this in detail later. Next option that you would check is launch activity. If you are going to do web automation on mobile browser, then you can check use browser checkbox and select browser from the option. Full reset will install android app every time and no reset option will ensure that app will not install again if it is already installed. Under launch AVD, you can select specific AVD if you want to launch it. Moving on to capabilities section. Under platform name, you can define whether you want to automate app on Android or Firefox OS. For automation name, you would mostly use APM. You may use Cylindroid if you want to automate app with lower version of Android such as API 15 or lower. Under platform version, you can set Android version. Device name is a free text. Remember, you can override all the options that we have discussed in a code that you would write. Moving on to iOS settings. iOS settings are not as crowded as Android settings. Similar to Android settings, you can also set app path for iOS app. Bundle ID is similar to package in Android. If you are going to use mobile browser, then check use mobile Safari checkbox. If you want to use any particular device or simulator, then use force device option and select device from the drop down. Select platform version. If you want to use real iPhone, then provide UDID. UDID is nothing but developer ID associated with your Apple ID. Force orientation will lock device in either portrait or landscape mode. Full reset and no reset are similar to options that we have seen in Android settings. Moving on to general setting icon. Here you can see default server address and port number used by APM server. You may change if you wish. Check for updates will check for any updates every time you open an app. You may like to check pre-launch application. As name suggests, it will pre-launch an application on your device or simulator. Next to general settings, there is a developer settings. I am going to skip this as most of the time we are not going to use this. Next to it is the robot settings. As name suggests, it literally means robot testing your mobile app.
interesting isn't it now coming back to inspector option to use this option make sure that app path package and launch activity is mentioned for android and for ios app path and bundle id is mentioned with inspector basically you can record actions and generate code that you can use in your automation test we'll see inspector option in detail later all right this concludes this chapter see you in the next video lesson